this will be a attempt at a demonstration of how to use the K3 reference calibration procedure to get down to within one hertz accuracy uh, using WWV on 10 megahertz. Right now I'm tuned in to WWV. I'll switch the audio on. The, the steady tone in the background is uh, the 620 hertz, roughly, uh, CW offset tone that I have the rig set for. And right now I know I'm about 6 hertz off if I switch between CW normal and CW reverse. There I'm hearing a slightly higher tone on CW reverse. Lower tone on CW normal. Higher. Lower. And of course this is basically the carrier that um, I'm listening to. So the Ed Street ticks and voices and things and their own tones that they modulate have to be ignored when you're doing this. You just listen to the steady tone there and listen for the difference. Now the fact that I'm hearing a higher tone there, if I want to make that tone lower, I need to tune higher. And since I think it's about 6 hertz off, I'll stop there at 6 hertz high. Reverse. Normal. So, I, it's about as close as I can get. Um, I think right now, my calibration is 6 hertz off at 10 megahertz. And now I want to go into the ref cal procedure itself. So I'm going to go back to 10 megahertz. Heard the tone come down slightly. One more verification. High. Low. Now I'll go into ref cal, which I already had set as the current uh, menu choice. And there the last three digits are 780. And I now need to um, tweak that. And it so happens I need to go down. Normally I would have to do this by trial and error, but I practiced a few minutes ago. I should still be able to go between normal and reverse and hear the tone difference. I do. Now, I want to match those two tones, and I'm going to turn this in the direction I've determined I need to go. Now, I think that should be about right. And now in reverse. Normal. I'd say it's within a hertz as best as I can judge. So, I think I have now recalibrated. And I'll go back to there. And now if I were to tune off by such hertz, just for the heck of it, I hear a difference now. So previously at this dial setting, I did not hear a difference. Now I do because I've recalibrated the rig. And I, um, And sometimes my ears tell me that there's a slight difference there, but that's as close as I think I can reasonably get. So, I find that procedure works pretty well using CW normal, CW reverse, listening for the difference in the tones and judging them to be different or the same, and I find it much easier than any other methods I've ever used in trying to zero beat anything.